Brazil's Supreme Court has lifted the ban on social media platform X after it paid fines and complied with legal requirements. X can now operate in Brazil again. North Korea convened a parliamentary meeting to revise its constitution, focusing on unification clauses and territorial boundaries. State media reported on Wednesday. North Korea's military announced it will cut off all roads and railways to South Korea starting Wednesday amidst rising tensions and recent provocations. Israeli Prime Minister Benjamin Netanyahu announced that Israel has killed thousands of Hezbollah members, urging Lebanon to free itself from the group's influence. <music> Hurricane Milton has intensified to Category 5 with winds up to 165 miles per hour. Over 5 million Florida residents are urged to evacuate ahead of the storm's landfall. An Israeli airstrike in Damascus targeted a residential building, killing seven civilians, including women and children, and injuring 11 others, according to the Syrian Defense Ministry. <music> President Biden has postponed his trip to Germany and Angola to oversee preparations for Hurricane Milton's expected landing in Florida. UN Secretary General Antonio Guterres warns Lebanon is on the verge of all-out war, urging immediate action to prevent further escalation and protect civilians. <music> Israeli Defense Minister Yov Gallant announced that a senior Hezbollah official may have been killed in an airstrike, marking a significant escalation in the conflict. <music> the Iraqi military reports four Islamic State militants including a senior member, were killed in an airstrike targeting their hideout in Salahuddin province. <music> President Museveni expresses readiness to mediate in Sudan's conflict, urging a ceasefire and power transfer to the people, during a meeting with the UN envoy. <music> 